it's called The Scientist and the Bumblebee, and it's based on the fact that um, scientists once proved that bumblebees couldn't fly because um, they're too fat and have little wings. But they can fly, obviously. So this is about sticking it to the man. <laughs> 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 um, especially if you're a fat bee. <laughs> You see, the scientist said the bumblebee couldn't fly. She lacked the wing beats per minute or the necessary size. But the bumblebee, in her ignorance, proved him wrong. She knew that she could fly because she'd flown all along. And now, imagine if she'd listened to the man, she might have stopped, given up on the spot, tucked her wings in and dropped. So don't ever let someone tell you what you can't do because just because it's proven doesn't mean it's true. Bzzz. The bumblebee bumbled. Loving her life, she hums as she flies. The bumblebee fumbled, clumsily stumbled from flower to flower. The bumblebee tumbled, tore through the sky and pulling corkscrews and dives, and then the bumblebee mumbled, crumbled in front of the queen and her power. The bumblebee grumbled something explicit, because I've she been labeled a gimmick, and then the bumblebee rumbled, desperate to eat that nectar so sweet. The bumblebee humbled her critics, silenced all things scientific, and then zzzz, the bumblebee jumbled her speech. She didn't care because in the air she was free because she was a busy bee. Loved to fly to flowers and visit trees, deliver seeds efficiently, more so than in a breeze, intricate, intimate, meticulous, auxiliary, and gather more honey than any circumcise. You see, ever since she learned to fly, she earned her stripes. Despite the words of hype from learned types, suppressed the urge to fight or turn and hide. Instead, she yelled for sky and birds up high. Her confidence was soaring. She saw scientists as boring, sort of people she should be ignoring because they made no sense. At least no center suite as pollen, even centimeters from where they depended on their drawings and they'd rather follow their charts than follow their hearts. If they saw a bee leave, they'd still believe a graph. They preferred facts and figures to bees, wax and vigor, but she begged to differ as she flew past and laughed. Now meet the scientists. He said, my life was to try and dismiss any hypothesis he deemed preposterous. When asked why he never swallowed his pride, he replied, that's obvious. It wouldn't fit down my esophagus. Not quite the optimist, more like the opposite. That's likely to be living in a bubble. Then popping it, he had, hey, believe everything I say, fever. Polynosis when close to the anomalous. Taking measurements, making experiments, accumulating evidence. His brain contained considerable cleverness compared to his intelligence. So busy with bees in the room, he forgot the elephant. And his foolproof was foolproof except for the truth. And if the bumblebee had read a report, she'd have agreed she was too heavy, therefore she'd never be airborne. But ignorance is bliss. And that begins with a bee. So this one is for the bees in the hives living lives of aviation. The ones who survive and help survive through pollination, the ones that thrive in their sticky situations with their flocky knocky knee hilly pillification. They are doing what they're doing for the buzz, not for love or money, moving and maneuvering above if the weather's sunny, proving to the humans their conclusions are confusing and unusually refusing to budge. This is for those who are being themselves and who believe in themselves, who see the bee in themselves and set it free in themselves, who know that even though it's difficult, life is full of miracles and true happiness never came from being cynical, the bumblebee, forever looking for something sweet, overcoming tumbleweed by holding onto some belief and summary. It's for those that stay summary. And there will be bees to come, whatever comes to be. Because the scientist said the bumblebee couldn't fly. She liked the wing beats per minute or the necessary size. But the bumblebee, in her ignorance, proved him wrong. She knew she could fly because she'd flown all along. And now imagine if she'd listened to the man. She might have stopped, given up on the spot, tucked her wings in and dropped. So don't ever let someone tell you what you can't do. Because just because it's proven doesn't mean it's true.